temporarily shut down the airport to commercial flights. Well, a close call you won't believe. How a cell phone helped a North Shore man literally dodge a bullet. Plus, budget... You know, some people say they can't live without their cell phone. Well, for one North Shore man, that may be true. How one piece of technology stopped a stray bullet. And I'm Fletcher Mack. It's a miracle of God protecting me. <laughs> one man is thankful to be alive after his cell phone stops a stray bullet. We'll get to that story in just a moment, but first, breaking news. Council members are... Rachel, we'll find out what happens. Pretend. Well, as the old saying goes, truth is stranger than fiction. R.J. Richard didn't know what hit him, but he knew something was wrong. But when he tried to dial 911, his cell phone fell apart in his hands, and he realized a miracle had just saved his life. WDSU News Channel 6 North Shore reporter Heath Allen has his story. Heath? Well, I tell you what, R.J. Richard is an elder in his church, so you're going to have to go a long way to convince him it was anything but a miracle that happened to him this past Saturday. A woodpecker. <laughs> Yeah. Like that. When this thing hit me, it hit with such force that I thought it popped up from the lawnmower some kind of way. As R.J. Richard cut grass last Saturday, something slammed into his chest, a oh, large caliber fortunate. bullet. I'm very glad to tell the story, <laughs> not be the story. <laughs> it was the, the ultimate man. cell phone wake-up call. That stray bullet hit him squarely in the Motorola. Normally in his pocket, but this day over his heart. They said if your cell phone wouldn't have been there, or and if it would have hit you straight on, you'd be totally dead because that's where my heart is. RJ said, "Well, I've been shot," and I said, "Don't tease like that. That is not funny." Wife Mindy drove up shortly after, and it took a while for the truth to sink in. I just burst into tears. I could not believe it. The close call on the eve of this holiday season has the Richards holding on to each other just a bit more tightly these days. It increased my faith. I hopefully am more humble. I hopefully will love my wife more and quicker. <laughs> he is. Ever since Saturday, he's been doing so much more right. I, ca I can't get over it. And what better time of year is there really for a miracle? we got a lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving especially. This one especially. Now, Mr. Richard and local St. Tammany authorities both were telling us this afternoon the main reason they want this story out there is so that people are aware of gun safety. And the authorities say that you have to remember this. If you pull the trigger, you're responsible for where that bullet winds up. Mr. Richard, just about that close from tragedy. On your side here on the North Shore, Heath Allen, WDSU News Channel 6. All right, Heath, he has a great excuse for not cutting the grass anymore. Just as a precaution, the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Department is running the bullet through his IBS system um, to see if the gun to, uh, came from, has been, to see if the bullet that the gun, that came from the gun, had ever been used in another crime. They do not suspect any criminal intent here, but warn, if you pull the trigger, you're responsible for where that bullet ends up. All right, now keep in mind from sports now to crime, a second guilty verdict on the North Shore, rather gun owners on the North Shore, a North Shore man wants your attention. He has a good reason to be mad, but instead, Kurt Sprang reports the man has a message. Kurt? Michael, a safety message, and he's using his cell phone to help spread the word, but not like you might think. There's a bullet. R.J. Richard has no interest in riding a high horse. He just wants to ride his tractor. I was on the tractor driving it over here towards the carport. But someone near Richard's rural home in St. Tammany Parish needs at least a good lecture. Saturday afternoon, Richard was working with his cell phone clipped to the breast of his coveralls when he felt something hit him right over his heart. When I started taking the phone out, the bullet falls out. And I said, wow, wow, bullet. The good thing about the Motorola cell phone is it's metal. <laughs> Richard has it's pictures of the life-saving phone and bullet. He and his wife might frame the sweatshirt he was wearing. We don't believe there was any criminal intent. St. Tammany Sheriff's deputies say it was a stray bullet fired by someone who was perhaps hunting in the St. Tammany woods. Detectives will keep it and the shattered phone and case, too. With deer season here, they think this close call should serve as a warning to all gun owners. 
Anytime you discharge a firearm, if you're hunting or target shooting, this even applies to us, when you pull that trigger, you are responsible for where that projectile goes. I'm a gun advocate. I'm not against guns at all. I just want people to be safer. And when you consider all the circumstances here, where Richard happened to be, the angle of the bullet's path, of course, the fact that he had his cell phone covering his heart, it is amazing that it all worked out just the way it did and he wasn't hurt. And by the way, Motorola is sending Richard a new phone. Michael. I bet it is. All right. Thank you, Kurt. A second guilty verdict tonight on the North Shore. Jury convicted 33-year-old Zlatko Zach Brujic of obstruction of justice. This is in the 2001 murder of Mandeville mom Samantha Jomay. Investigators say Brujic helped the trigger.